Hi, I'm Mike Lissagor. My wife and I have been practicing and studying Nichiren Buddhism since 1969 in the SGI, or Soka Gakkai International, a Buddhist lay organization. Several fellow Buddhists asked me to put together a short introduction to our amazing practice to share with our family and friends. While some of the information was derived from SGI websites, I am solely responsible for the contents. The origins of Nichiren Buddhism can be traced to the teachings of the historical Buddha Shakyamuni, who lived some 2,500 years ago in what is modern-day Nepal. Born Gautama Siddhartha, he abandoned his sheltered princely life and sought instead to understand the inescapable sufferings of every human being, birth, aging, sickness, and death, and the means by which these sufferings could be overcome. Following his enlightenment at the age of 30, he traveled throughout India for some 50 years, sharing the wisdom he had discovered. The term Buddha, or enlightened one, is applied to any human being who realizes the eternity of life and the operation of cause and effect throughout the three existences of past, present, and future. As his essential teaching, revealed in the last eight years of his life, the Lotus Sutra teaches the existence of an innate and universal truth known as Buddha nature the manifestation of which enables one to enjoy absolute happiness and to act with boundless compassion. Some forms of Buddhism stress the need to eliminate earthly desires and attachments. Instead, the Lotus Sutra asserts the ultimate reality of the Buddha nature inherent in all life. Through our daily struggles, we can manifest our enlightened nature. In other words, it's a teaching which profoundly affirms the realities of daily life and which naturally encourages an active engagement with others and with the whole of human society. The Lotus Sutra is also unique among the teachings of Shakyamuni in that it makes the attainment of enlightenment a possibility open to all people without distinction based on gender, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or education. After Shakyamuni's passing, his teachings became splintered as they spread throughout Asia and beyond, resulting in many different geographic sects and interpretations of Buddhism. In the 13th century, a Japanese reformer, Nichiren Daishonin, declared the Lotus Sutra, taught in the final eight years of Shakyamuni's life, to be the highest and ultimate teaching of Buddhism. The Lotus Sutra most clearly shows Buddhism as a powerful, life-affirming, egalitarian, and humanistic teaching. The title of the Lotus Sutra and its Japanese translation is Myoho Renge Kyo. But to Nichiren, Myoho Renge Kyo was far more than the title of a Buddhist sect. It was the expression in words of the law of life, which all Buddhist teachings in one way or another seek to clarify. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo was first chanted by Nichiren on April 28, 1253. Nichiren Buddhists chant to a scroll called the Gohonzon, which is enshrined inside a cabinet called the Butsudan, such as the one shown here. The original Gohonzon was inscribed by Nichiren in the 13th century. The fundamental object of respect for Nichiren Buddhas, the Gohonzon represents the enlightened life of each individual. It's not an external object of worship, but rather a spiritual mirror. SGI members study the many letters Nichiren wrote to his disciples. We also study the writings of the third president of our Buddhist lay organization, Daisaku Ikeda. The basic morning and evening practice, known as Gongyo, consists of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and reciting two portions of the Lotus Sutra. This is usually carried out in our own homes, but can also be done together with others. We also study Buddhist publications to further our understanding of the Buddhist teachings and concepts. As we practice and study, we experience actual proof in our daily lives. We also develop faith, which means to believe in the teachings of Nichiren and share his belief that all people have within them the highest potential. This does not mean some kind of blind acceptance, but rather an openness toward positive possibility. Now, it's impossible to explain the meaning of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in just a few minutes. However, in brief, a close translation of the word Nam is to devote oneself. 
in the original Sanskrit, nam indicates the elements of action and attitude, and refers therefore to the correct action one needs to take and the attitude one needs to develop in order to take on the characteristics of a Buddha. Myoho literally means the mystic law and expresses the relationship between the life inherent in the universe and the many different ways this life expresses itself. Myo refers to the very essence of life, which is invisible. This essence also expresses itself in tangible form, or ho. Renge means lotus flower. From a muddy swamp, the lotus blooms and produces seeds at the same time. This represents the simultaneity of cause and effect. The circumstances and quality of our individual lives are determined by the causes and effects, both good and bad, that we accumulate through our thoughts, words, and actions at each moment. This is called our karma. Because we create our destiny, we can change it. The most powerful cause we can make is to chant nam myoho renge kyo The effect of Buddhahood is simultaneously created in the depths of our life and will definitely manifest over time. Finally, Kyo literally means sutra, the voice or teaching of a Buddha. In this sense, it means the sound and vibration we make when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which helps us to become more in rhythm with our environment. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, also known as Daimoku, is the primary daily practice of SGI members. The chant can be done at any time. Each musical note shown here represents one beat or syllable. So the chant sounds like this. Nam yo ho renge kyo, nam yo ho renge kyo, nam yo ho renge kyo. There are several useful videos that demonstrate how to chant. You can pause this video to write down this web address for later reference. Consistent chanting results in conspicuous improvements in our health, relationships, and work. This isn't magic, but rather a reflection of the internal changes we undergo when we chant. In one of his letters, Nitrin explained that by first using the strategy of the Lotus Sutra, chanting nam myoho renge kyo we can tap into our inner wisdom and fortune to improve our health, relationships, school, work, and financial situation. But perhaps even more important are the inconspicuous benefits, which are less tangible, but lead to lasting happiness. We may, might not discern these changes from day to day, but as the years pass, we grow happier and lead more productive, harmonious lives. This inconspicuous benefit is referred to as a human revolution. My experience and the experience of millions of others is that when you chant nam myoho renge kyo, you gain the best result for you regardless of whether that benefit is conspicuous or inconspicuous. The Soka Gakkai International, or SGI, is a Buddhist network linking more than 12 million people in 192 countries and territories worldwide. As lay believers and engaged Buddhists, SGI members strive in their everyday lives to live with confidence to create value in any circumstances, and to contribute to the well-being of family, friends, and community. The promotion of peace, culture, and education is central to the SGI's activities. While the SGI has many Buddhist centers, it's the small neighborhood discussion meetings in private homes that are its foundation. They provide an opportunity for questioning, for voicing, and responding to doubts, and sharing experiences. From the perspective of Nichiren Buddhism, truth is not the exclusive possession of a select individual or group. Rather, truth is something to which people of every gender, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or education have equal access. And this wisdom and hope is shared through an expanding web of empathetic connections among people. Thank you for the opportunity to share this amazing Buddhism with you. I am confident that there is not a single problem you cannot overcome with this practice. Here are some online references for further information about Nichiren Buddhism, as well as SGI websites where you can locate a discussion meeting in your specific location. 
I sincerely wish you success on your spiritual journey as we work together to create a more peaceful and harmonious world.